Well, I've got a new toy once again. You can see it's a Civil Defense CDV 700. Um, Amatomic X actually uh, modded it with a nice speaker and this totally awesome pancake probe with a Mika window. So it's an alpha sensitive probe. So, yeah, once again, thank you very much for this incredible Cold War device. And what I'm going to do first of all is compare my Gamma Scouts Geiger Muller tube that has just a one centimeter diameter um, Geiger Muller tube Mika window opening. Well, this Alpha probe, the pancake probe, is five centimeters in diameter, that is about two inches. So let's see what the difference is just in background radiation. First of all, I'm going to take the counts over one minute on my Gamma Scout. And you can see we have 38 counts per minute as background radiation. I'm actually keeping the CDV 700 away a bit because of the check source, so it doesn't interfere with background radiation. So let's see. You will immediately notice the much more frequent clicks. And you can see it registers around 200 counts per minute. Okay, so here's the Gamma Scout with a tiny piece of pitch blender about 6 inches away from the Geiger Muller tube. And uh, one microsievert on the Gamma Scout is about 150 counts per minute. Just move it closer. And with zero proximity. We're getting about 18 microsieverts, I suppose. And now with the same distance of 6 inches to the pancake probe. So we're maxing out for scale. So, that is times 10. And you can see we're getting about... It's quite a bit for it to adjust. About 1,500 counts per minute. And once again, we're going to move that closer. So that's very close proximity. We're getting about 25,000 tons per minute. And an even better example of the sensitivity of that pancake probe is this Trinitite. This piece of glass has been formed in a Trinitite nuclear bomb test in 1945. And it contains fallout products such as uh, cesium-137. So, let's see. If I'm using the Gamma Scout, you can hear the clicks. And holding that right on top. Probably a bit, but maybe not. That's if I hold it away from the Trinitite. You will see we're getting a similar reading, so it's not really that easy to tell just by measuring it with the Gamma Scout. It's really impossible to tell if this is radioactive or not. But now, let's use the pancake probe. Let's see what the Trinitite does to that. Uh, 
Let's see that again with the meter in place. You can see we have just around 100 counts per minute. Now if I bring the trend tag calls. We can see we're reaching about 400 counts. 350, more like, but still. No, I'll put it away again. It takes a while to adjust, so give it a few seconds before actually taking the reading into consideration, but you can see we're back at below 150. What's also important to note about Trinitite is that it's really, really light. You can see the sample weighs just over one gram. And it has a lot of bubbles in it, so it's not a solid piece of glass. And it's really light due to a lot of air bubbles. That plus the radioactivity will um, sort of tell you that you know, you've got a good chance of having real Trinitite because there's a lot of fake glass shards around that look similar but are usually heavier and um, sometimes radioactive because you can just melt whatever, uranium ore <laughs> or something in there, but you've got a high chances of this being real trinitite. Of course, you need the mass spectrometry to really analyze what kind of uh, what kind of radiation this is giving off to see if it's real trinitite, but this is kind of likely it's real trinitite. And it looks like a rail gun from Quay 2, so that's why I love it. One more example, here is my strontium-90 source disk, opened one microquery of strontium-90, and to the gamma scale, this will be about 170 microsieverts an hour. And the source is still here, it's not in front of the pancake probe yet. No, I'm holding it towards the probe, but it's still very far away. And you can see how incredibly sensitive it is. It's just really far away from it. That's about it, I don't know. How far was that? Let's do it in inches, I guess. About 8 or 9 inches or something. You can see we're about to max out that scale again, so we're going to go to the maximum, times 100. You can see I'm still not that tall. And we go, we're maxing even that scale out at 50,000 counts per minute. And I wasn't even totally close. If I get totally close, it'll just and even scream at a totally maxed out scale. My hands are a good beta shape. Now from that side. Now a lot from that side. Well, we'll be able to do many, many more cool things with this beautiful CDV 700. Um, you'll see all those things in new videos very soon, so stay tuned.